Welcome to the Navigating Your Life show. I'm your host, Nat Williams. Tonight, we're going to take a look at alternate pathways to success. We will dive into various perspectives on how individuals can go about creating their own pathway to a successful future. To highlight some statistics, it is believed that in 2005, that more post-secondary institutions offered programs in healthcare than any other career program area. And that's about 3,700 institutions and about 58% of all higher education institutions. The majority of programs took at least one year, but less than two years to complete. Recently, I had the opportunity to visit two programs that are working on workforce development issues in Philadelphia, and here's what they had to share. Hello, my name is Martha Chavis. I am the CEO and President of Welcome New Jersey, which stands for Workforce, Education, and Life Career Opportunities, Mentoring You to Excel. Our mission is workforce development. We provide job readiness training to both adolescents as well as adults who want to get ready to go into the 21st century workplace setting. They may not be new to the job force, well, some of them are. Depending on their background and their work experience, they may have never held down uh, what we consider to be a nine to five job. May have done a lot of per diem, part time and or seasonal work. Others may have been on the job for a very long time, but they now find themselves unemployed or needing to change employment and haven't done a resume in 10 or 15 years. May not know about the new um, uh, ways to apply for a job these days, which uh, in some cases is online applications. Um, you now may need to send your resume via email and you have to know how to do that. Things of that nature. So those are all part of new um, experiences they're coming across that are not part of, of their past and it does make a difference. We offer as part of this training, in addition to job readiness, educational enhancement, self-sufficiency, life skills. We make sure that our participants are ready in terms of having community service experience, internships, job shadowing, job mentoring, and finally, employment. We are also known for the follow-up we do with our participants over a two-year period to make sure that the jobs that they do get, they are satisfied, doing well, and are moving on to other jobs may be beginning to explore other aspects of their career desires, as well as deal with issues around housing, transportation, childcare, and most importantly, making sure that they're maintaining the self-confidence to do as well as they want to do in the workplace setting. Good afternoon, I'm Sean Hammond. I'm the manager of all the trades here at the Philadelphia Job Corps Life Science Institute. The trade that we're first getting ready to go into is medical assisting. Medical assistants are the ones that when you come into a doctor's office, take your blood pressure, draw your blood, and things of that nature. So come with me. In different sections of the room, you'll see students, again, taking people's heights, heights and weights. Also, preparing them to have blood drawn, doing vital signs, and all the things that all gathering all the vital information that a doctor is going to need for your visit in an office. One of the things I'm very proud of is that a lot of our students come in and they have no medical training and they're, I guess, apprehensive or fearful and they learn from our good instructors and even our part-time instructors like that gentleman over in the corner, Mr. Briggs, is that to be fearless, you have a job to do. Do your job, train well, do it well, and you come out on top. Okay, hi, my name is Ed Petro. I'm the Facilities Maintenance Instructor here at the Philly Job Corps. What we do here, pretty much we set up to teach these young people how to work in a commercial environment, basically a healthcare setting in a commercial field for facilities maintenance. They're gonna learn a little electric, they're gonna learn some plumbing, some carpentry, some heating, ventilating, and air conditioning work. They'll also do some concrete work, suspended ceilings and doors, just about every aspect of a commercial facility they'll learn how to handle. When these young men leave here and young women, they're more than capable of taking on a job in the facilities maintenance environment or the construction environment. We want to thank both of those programs for having us and sharing what their organizations do for so many individuals. 
We're gonna take a break now. When we come back, we're gonna have a conversation with the director from Empire Beauty School. So stay with us, please. Are you ready to experience personal success in all eight domains of life? Then join Dr. Nat Williams for the Absolutes of Success Weekend Transformation Program at Tucson, Arizona, and achieve your greatest potential. Registration includes a two-night stay with meals at the beautiful Westward Look Resort. Register today only $6.99, or register with a friend and pay only $9.99 with shared room. Call 1-800-810-3683 or visit absolutesofsuccess.com. Tonight, we'd like to highlight two sisters. Zena is a polite 15-year-old with a charming smile that draws people to her. Zena is in the ninth grade and struggles a little bit with math and science, but reaches out to get help that she needs. Her favorite activities include watching television and spending time with her sister, Cecilia. Polite and well-mannered, Cecilia, age 13, has a strong personality and is extremely happy with herself. She likes to read, watch television cartoons, and play with her friends. Enrolled in the eighth grade, she earns good marks. Zena and Cecilia dream of being adopted together. For adoption information, please access the National Adoption Center's website at www.adopt.org. For further information on Zena and Cecilia, please contact smartinez at adopt.org. It's about changing the world in which we live. It's about playing, living, and working together. It's about escaping from special programs. It's about finding leadership. And social justice. The Pennsylvania Developmental Disabilities Council believes that disability is a natural part of the human condition. We are working to create a commonwealth where all people thrive in shared citizenship. And everybody wins. Ready for some fun? FunWorks assists individuals with and without disabilities to participate in community activities. These activities are provided in small settings for one to eight individuals with at least one to two direct support professionals. We visit places like Dollywood, Willow Valley Inn, Phillies Games, Iron Pigs Games, the Lehigh Valley Zoo, and more. Let us know your dream trip. Our staff is dedicated to ensuring your dream activities come true. For more information, call 888-966-9466 or visit funworksinc.org. Welcome back to the Navigating Your Life show. I'd like to welcome to our studio uh, three guests that we have. We have with us the Academic Director for Empire Beauty School, uh, Kat Steskowski. Uh, joining her is also a graduate of the Cosmetology program, Zuina Tattoo, and a current student, uh, Corinne Ware. So welcome, Kat Thank and you. Corinne and Zuina. Thank you. Good. So Kat, would you mind uh, sharing with us what is the Empire Beauty School's program? Well, our program consists of teaching hair, nails, and skin. Mm -hmm. um, what we do is we go above and beyond in every aspect of those different areas to make sure that they can be, um, come properly licensed within the state and that they learn how to market themselves and to start already building their business while they're here at school with us. Mm -hmm. And Corinne, you are a student in the program. How long have you been in the program? I've been in the program for seven months, wow. and I have two months till I graduate, wow. so I'm really excited about that. I can't wait. Wow. What do you want to do once you graduate? Um, my goal is to have my own business. Um, I also want to come back for the teacher's program. Mm -hmm. so I'm really what, and what is the teacher's program? Uh, the teacher's program, um, it's assisting students mm -hmm. in what they are to be future, mm -hmm. um, so to work in salons, okay. so it should be pretty fun. Very good. And Zuina, uh, what are you doing in the uh, in the program at Empire? Um, I currently at Empire, I am a student educator. Mm -hmm. I am in the teachers program, mm -hmm. and um, I'm learning all the aspects of teaching, mm -hmm. um, as well as helping the students while they are going through um, for their cosmetology license. Good. Mm -hmm. And I understand you have a full life. Yes. You mind sharing with our viewers what that full life looks like? Yes, actually, I have four children, mm -hmm. and my husband is currently active duty Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot to juggle, um, but the program at Empire Beauty School has flexible hours, which helps a lot, um, so that I am able to complete the program. Good. And Kat, I understand you're a graduate of the program. Um, yes. So that has also given you a very strong vantage point as the academic director to understand clearly what the students are going through. Absolutely. Uh, it was a while ago, um, <laughs> but I remember those important times when I was at school, mm -hmm. and it, um, it helps you know, as far as knowing maybe what their concerns are mm -hmm. or some of their hurdles that they need to overcome mm -hmm. so that we can direct them on the right path. Good. And, and um, Corinne, you're getting this in an early part of your life um, and as a way to um, uh, influence the, the future and where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. What are you learning in this program that you didn't know before you got into the program? 
Um, just the basics of hair. I mean, I've always, you know, played around with hair, but I've never really known, like, special techniques or ways of cutting. What could you do for my hair? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a special technique that you could do to... Uh, maybe some <laughs> extensions. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> So you're learning lots of different yeah, skills that you didn't have exactly. before. Exactly, and also it's not just hair, it's mm -hmm. skin and nails. Mm -hmm. So it's it's more than just hair. Sure. That's most people think cosmetology and they think hair. Mm -hmm. So we learn a lot. Very good. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you see Zuina as your future? What do you want to, you want, I know you want to teach. Is there anything else you want to do with this knowledge that you've gained? Um, well, I want to expand, um, being that my husband is active duty, mm -hmm. um, we do move a lot. Mm -hmm. um, there are many um, Empire Beauty Schools throughout the country, mm -hmm. so it does make it easier for me to be able to transfer. Sure. Yes. Sure. And the purpose of today's show is to look at alternate pathways to being successful. And a lot of times we find that that traditional thing is what we're being pushed down. And I think what's important is to let people know there's lots of different ways to get to there. And one of the nice things about your program, it's nine months, and you have something that really can make a difference in, 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 in your life and, uh, and for your family. Um, looking at an alternate pathway, why was that okay for you to look at this pathway instead of going into a four-year college or an associate's program? Why was this palatable for you to consider? Do you want to start with first, uh, Kat? When I went to cosmetology school, um, I had two small children at the time, mm -hmm. and I wanted something that was flexible mm -hmm. um, to be able to work with them. Mm -hmm. And over the years, it has been perfect for me as a mom, and then having two more children, um, it has um, just been perfect to work alongside what my husband does. Sure. Um, and I've also seen for so many people, even you know, single parents, mm -hmm. this has just um, been such an opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. um, but for myself as well, to then have the opportunity with Empire to become an academic director, sure with my former background mm -hmm. and now my cosmetology. Um, it's been an incredible experience. Wow. And Corinne? Um, well, Empire really prepared me so when I go into a salon, mm -hmm. like, I know I'm going to be ready. Mm -hmm. So even after only nine months at the school, like, I feel so comfortable and I'm ready to start in a salon as soon as I graduate. Mm -hmm. So, and then um, the, the education that you get mm -hmm. in four years, I, I could have my own shop. Mm -hmm. So I just think that's really neat. Wow over mm -hmm. four-year college from. Sure. And again, Zuina has an alternate pathway. What do you think is neat about the Empire program? Um, well, I would like, what I would have to say is the flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, as, as I said earlier, I have four children. Mm -hmm. it's, it is during the time that they are in school, mm -hmm. so it's very, mm -hmm. very good for me. Mm -hmm. And the, for the length of the program, it's during their regular length of school. Mm -hmm. So it works out very well. Yes. And again, it's a, that uh, not having to put your life on hold and almost having your cake and eat it too is that you really don't have to sacrifice mm -hmm. so much. You can bring it together. And I think you'd mentioned uh, previously when we were talking about uh, going part-time to full-time and you have that flexible schedule in daytime classes and nighttime classes. Mm -hmm. So really, you know, with a program like this, no one should be left behind. Correct. Wow. Mm -hmm. As we get ready to wrap up our conversation about alternate pathways to success, why don't we share any final thoughts? And Zelina, we'll start with you first on your final thoughts. Um, I would have to say that if you really want to go for this um, type of learning, you have all the means to do it at Empire Beauty School. Mm -hmm. They have every, all the instructors are willing to help you. Mm -hmm. If there's any type of problems, you always have mm -hmm any type of help that is needed. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, it's flexible. Mm -hmm. um, if, if your situation changes, there's always another means mm -hmm. to get you through so the program. Failure's not an option. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Good. Corinne, please. Um, for me, it would probably be continuing education. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. And after the nine months after you're graduated, when you get into a salon, you're still learning new things, mm -hmm. new styles, new mm -hmm. techniques. So I think that's really important. Wow. Very good. And Kat, please. Well, like Karen was talking about, you know, we have just actually um, incorporated a new alumni program mm. so that all of our former graduates, mm. like she said, they keep learning mm. and um, continuing education and staying right. up to date. Um, and I see so many people, um, especially in the nighttime program, where they work their regular job during mm. the day, but they want to change their career. They want to do something they're passionate mm. about. So they're able to do both at the same time. Good. And I, I understand that there's also competitions where you can go and get further recognition. Yes. Your, so please explain We are that. having um, the largest national student competition um, in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. It's uh, May 16th and 17th. And we are so excited. Mm -hmm. it, it is, there's nothing like seeing these students and how empowering it is for them mm -hmm. to not, 
not only if they're com competing, mm -hmm. but just the ones that when you go as part of a team mm -hmm. and um, and just learning, there's so much there that is going to be taught to them. Mm -hmm. And Nick Arojo is going to be there. He's partnering up with our company. And um, they're just, it's constant learning. Mm -hmm. um, it's constant improvement. Mm -hmm. And and there's also lots of um, job seekers there as well. Oh, so. We're going to put on screen now the wonderful book that they get when they enroll yes, in the program. Yes, it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful book. So yes. there's lots of good things from the beginning on, on to the end that they get in a program such as yours. So that's wonderful. So ladies, I want to thank you. Kat, Great. so much for being thank here. You. And thank Corinne you. and Zuina. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck. We're now going to take a break. When we come back, we'll be talking with a representative from the JNA Institute of Culinary Arts. So stay with us. The Banana Factory is Lehigh Valley's premier community cultural arts center promoting and sharing visual arts with everyone. This outreach educational center features a clay studio where students learn the art of ceramics with some of the region's most renowned artists. The Lehigh Valley's only hot glass studio promoting the art of glass blowing and the glass making process. The Olympus Digital Imaging Center where students learn the art of digital photography and much more. Come experience the world of art at the Banana Factory. Call 610-332-1300. Campus Outfitters is the number one source for school clothing from kindergarten to your senior year. You'll find athletic apparel and gear, custom embroidery for teams and businesses, adult casual career wear, and polo starting at just $9.99, pants from $12.99. Easy, convenient, and new styles all the time. Visit the experts at Campus Outfitters, Route 209 Broadheadsville, next to the ShopRite, CampusOutfittersOnline.com. You choose your doctor. You choose your pharmacy. Why shouldn't you choose your in-home health care provider? The good news is you can and you should. When your hospital or doctor prescribes home care, Alan Lear Home Care Associates will work with you in the comfort of your own home, providing a full range of services. Our nurses are dedicated professionals that take the time to get to know you and help you return to your optimal health. Call Alan Lear Home Care Associates. Caring for you when you need us most. In these challenging times, your organization needs employees that maximize results. Human Works Training and Educational Services provides results-focused seminars for your staff. Topics include management and motivating employees, stress management, team building and leadership skills, and cultural diversity. Register today, just $89.99 or $75 for chamber members. Call 484-893-5057 or visit hwtes.com. Welcome back to the Navigating Your Life show. And now joining us in the studio, we have a chef with us. We have Chef Robert Patton of the JNA uh, Institute of Culinary Arts in Philadelphia. So thank you so much, Chef, for joining sure, us. My pleasure. Sure. Tell us a little about your, your school uh, in Philadelphia. Uh, JNA Institute of Culinary Arts, um, fully accredited, licensed mm -hmm. uh, school of culinary, culinary arts. Uh, we've been in existence since 1988. Uh, we offer a diploma program mm -hmm. uh, and an associate's degree in hospitality Just management. Stay there for a second. What's the difference between the two, the, the <coughs> diploma program versus the... Uh, the diploma program would be a 30-week program, Okay. Um, very hands-on driven, meant to get the student very job ready very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, the 60-week program, <coughs> a little more intensive, mm -hmm. uh, obviously a little longer, uh, gets the student the associate's degree in hospitality management. Um, gives them a little broader education. So just think about that for a second. A little bit over a year, you have correct. an associate's degree that normally in most other places takes you two years. That's correct. Wow. And you're ready to go out? Ready to go out in the field. Um, actually, the externship um, program is part of the curriculum, so they're required to get an externship mm -hmm. uh, at an approved site, restaurants, now, hotels. Is that externship part of the 60 weeks or in addition to the 60 weeks? Part of the 60 weeks. Wow. So, okay. um, they actually go out, <coughs> they're required to uh, get their foot in the door mm -hmm. um, and get gainful employment out there mm -hmm. in an in a approved site. Sure. And where have some of the, your students ended up working at after they, they've done the 30 or the 60 week program? Where are they working? <coughs> we have students um, all over uh, the culinary field, if you will, mm -hmm. from um, the finest French restaurant in Philadelphia, Le Bec Fen, to hospitals, colleges, uh, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So spanning you know, the spectrum of fine dining to mm -hmm. casual dining. Sure. And are you finding that employers want people to have um, a diploma or an associate's degree? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, the employer is looking for someone uh, 
that they can bank on and, and the diploma or the degree goes a long way in that and getting their foot in the door mm -hmm. um, and showing the employer they have the skill necessary to, to jump in there and do the job. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping some of our viewers are, can look at their own self and maybe, you know, they're, they're 30, 40, 50 years old and they've loved, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the culinary arts. And here's a program with a little bit over a year if you want the associate's degree or a little bit over half a year if you want a diploma that you could go in, uh, get some credentialing and be off and, and, and off and running. Yeah, it's a quick start. And then and, and especially for someone that maybe they tried the path to college and mm -hmm. it didn't quite work out or it's not quite for them. Uh, this is the way to, to get going, uh, get your career on a fast track. Very good. So we're talking today about alternate pathways to success. <coughs> and I think your program is a prime example of another way to get to where you want to go. Why do you find that people struggle with you know, taking a different pathway, and you know, they're so often used to, you know, I understand there's a four-year institution, and I and I would go there for four years and and pay this amount of money or do something uh, that's more traditional. It sounds like your program is a little bit different, um, an, an alternate way. But why do you feel that people struggle with the concept of of considering your program um, as a, as an option? I think uh, a lot of people are, are kind of stuck in the uh, path to that, that college is mm -hmm. the only way to go. Um, but we find we have um, many different people from many different backgrounds taking the program. Um, and for whatever reason, they found themselves um, taking our program mm -hmm. for a quick start. Maybe it was uh, after college, they gave college a try. Mm -hmm. We have people changing careers. Mm -hmm. So now they really need a quick start. And this is a good way to to, if you're changing careers, to, mm -hmm. to get your foot in the door quickly. Sure, sure. And, and, and again, you know, if, if you've had any interest in the culinary arts, um, you know, I think it's a wonderful program, but if you just want to get that associate's degree with, in a field that you love, a little bit over a year to do that, it, it sounds like a real winnable situation. It, wow. it, it definitely is, and wow. definitely uh, prepares uh, the student to get out there and get into the hospitality management. And mm -hmm. from there, they, they can take it further. Sure. Uh, any corporation, mm -hmm. uh, food service corporation, they're definitely looking for the degree. Sure. Um, so there are definitely students that they're picking from. Sure. And what is the age of your students? What do you find? I know you said you had about 78, 80 students in your school now. A 18 to uh, 56. Wow. So definitely broad spectrum there. Uh, students right out of high school that uh, definitely didn't choose the college path and people changing careers mm -hmm. and, and want to jump start. Very good. And what is your what is a, a, a academic week look like in your in your school? <coughs> well there's a mix of um, lab classes and lecture classes. Mm -hmm. um, the lecture classes are um, usually about two-thirds of the program. Mm -hmm. um, the remaining third in the lab hands-on in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Um, simulating real life experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a student run restaurant that mm -hmm. they uh, participate in and wow. they do everything. So oh. it's open to the public dining um, and they're, they're on. It's real life situations. Wow. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming in today to My share uh, a lot about the JNA Institute of, uh, for the Culinary Arts and, uh, and what you do there. We're now going to take a quick break and when we come back, uh, we'll have a chance to wrap up today's show. So stay with us. When caring about someone becomes caring for someone, there's help at your beck and call. For over 12 years, Beck and Call's in-home caregivers have been providing assistance with the activities of daily living, everything from mealtime to bathing, or just being there when you can't be. Being at home is important to them. Give them flexible assisted living services that come right to the door. Gain peace of mind. Call Beck and Call today at 570-426-7507. We look forward to your family becoming part of ours. As we all know, the job market is difficult to penetrate. Please look at the short resume on the screen and contact the email address below if this person's skills is of interest to you or your company. Let's help him get back into the saddle.
At Bridge to Creative Learning and Child Care Center, your child will learn and play the creative way in a safe and secure environment. We offer a fun and caring educational-based atmosphere and allow parents to monitor their child's activities. We are a state-licensed child care center offering academic preparation, after-school programs, creative learning, summer activities, and much more. Call us at 610-351-7400. Prepare your child for a brighter future. I hope today's show has been enlightening, encouraging, and empowering for you. There are so many options for all those of us who want to further our education, and it doesn't always have to include a four-year college or university. Vocational programs include uh, the fields of healthcare, design, music, culinary, technology, and dozens more. We must be aware of the vast amount of possibilities for further training and education beyond our traditional college setting. These programs are specialized and made for students of all ages. It's never too late to take your passion down a new pathway for success. As we wrap up today's show, we want to let you know we're looking forward to having you join us next week when we're having on our show a uh, guest that will talk about understanding juvenile diabetes. Until then, be well, and I thank our guest for joining us today. A list of resources related to today's show is available on our website, which is navigatingyourlifeshow.com. On this site, there is a connection to our Facebook and Twitter pages and to our blog. While you are there, you can also email your comments on today's show or share ideas for future shows.